Hey everyone, a happy Friday. Here is Lorely Chaparros and your new HD athlete. So today I'm bringing you guys with me through my shoulder workout. We're standing at four weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. If you guys don't know, Mr. Olympia is the biggest contest in the world. And I'm super excited. It's just been changed to a location instead of Vegas. We're going to Orlando this time. So just staying focused and I'm going to bring you guys with me through my shoulder workout. At the moment, I'm doing two shoulder workout a week. So I have one shoulder workout mixed with back and today is only shoulder. So there's big shoulder isolation workout. I'm going to bring you guys through my set and reps and all the tips and tricks to grow those shoulders. I've already took my pre-workout. I took pre-workout HD, the sour peach flavor. This is by far the ultimate best flavor I've ever tasted in a pre-workout. And you can actually tell by the fact that it's almost empty. I take that every day, about 30 minutes pre-workout. So that's done. In my shaker cup today, I'm gonna have the Intra HD. I have the raspberry lemonade. I love this one, but there's also the watermelon one, which is super good too. I'm going to do a scoop of that. Aminos are very important for you guys. When you train so hard and you are very low calories, your ability of recovering is a lot lower than the normal regular person that actually have enough food. So you make sure that you have a good intra workout with essential amino acid. So I'm gonna drink that during my entire workout. It's so fun to just try different things. And this is actually a good exercise, you know, a good warm up for your shoulders and your overall just core and just, just to get it, get warm. Like I wanna, I don't wanna start my workout being cold, if that makes sense. So just gonna do some, as much as I can. We're gonna start with some hammer strength uh, presses. It's catching my breath. Um, we're gonna do here four sets of 12 to 15 reps. I'm gonna increase the weight in each um, set. So this one you can do it reverse or actually facing uh, the front. I do reverse just to target a little bit more of my rear delts.
All right, so just did four set facing that way. We're now doing four sets facing this way. On this one, you want to keep your elbow coming forward and not straight. Um, that way you're really focusing on the shoulders and you're not um, targeting your tricep in any way. All right, exercises number two, the side lateral machine. One of my favorite machines in the entire gym universe. I will do four working set of 12 to 15 reps. So over here, we're going to do five full reps, then a hold with the left go five with the right, and then with the right, go five with the left. And then four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and hold, and one more. It's very exciting. My third Miss Bikini Olympia, I mean, it, it's always so different year to year, uh, especially this challenging and crazy year. Uh, being qualified, I qualified about 15 months ago, so I haven't stepped on stage in a while. So definitely excited for that. And I feel that the improvement I've made since my first Olympia, but since my last Olympia as well, has been absolutely um, crazy. And I'm just excited to showcase that. And I have so many people, you know, supporting me and it makes a whole world of a difference. Yeah, I'm super excited. Third time stepping on stage and it's never the same, you know? I'm enjoying every second of it. I mean, everything. I think like in bodybuilding, it's so hard to be like, oh, I wish I knew that before I started because then my journey would have been so different. And I honestly, even though I've struggled, I haven't had like this perfect, successful, uh, you know, path, I would say like the typical successful path that normally people have. But I, no, I don't think I would have changed anything. I mean, I think I, think I got confirm of a lot of things that I wasn't sure if it was the right thing for me but you really have to figure out what works best for you and right now I feel like I'm at the best place mentally physically uh, just overall I'm just very cleared and aligned with what my goal is um, the mindset when you compete especially at the Olympia you have to you really have to believe in the fact that you are going to be Miss Olympia, even before you step on stage. So when your preparation starts, it, it doesn't only start you know, at the gym and doing more cardio and having less calories. It's about working that mindset of yours to walk like Miss Olympia, to eat like Miss Olympia, that practice your posing like Miss Olympia every single day and having that belief and you know that eager inside of you where you actually 
you don't you don't just say it like it is but you actually put faith into it and like really have that burning desire of being Miss Olympia and you only have to believe in yourself but it's it's huge for me because before I I was just happy to be at the Miss Olympia and it was enough for me but um, now that the stakes are high I definitely I definitely have to believe that much and that's been my mindset since over a year now that I've been working on that and also the therapeutic aspect of you know being competing at such a high level I think because we're bikini and our craft is different um, we still train really hard and I've always kind of not neglected but I would say neglected my you know um, chiropractic you know the the stretches and everything but having you know when you compete against the best in the entire world you have to make sure that you're at your best and it's just everything you know your supplements has to be on point your posing has to be on point your food your sleep your stretches your posing everything so I feel that people think we only go to gym like three hours a day and that's enough of like a working day but we're working 24 7 and and that's for like 25 weeks of very seriously um, you know being into it